Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mariana Emerson, and today we are going to be reviewing and unboxing a little package I got from Fujifilm. So they were so, so, so kind in sending me this. My goodness, guys, I've been needing a new vlogging camera for a while, and they sent over the Fujifilm X-T100. So I've been hearing really good things about this camera, and I can't wait to delve in and let you know my thoughts. So let's see what's inside the box. Got the warranty, the manual, got the lens cap, the strap, we got all these little bits and bobs. We also have the battery and battery charger. So I've already taken it out of the box, but here is the camera. It is so pretty. I love how this looks. It's like got this really nice vintage feel. This is in the shade Champagne Gold. It also comes in silver and black, but the champagne gold is pretty cute too. So this camera comes with a kit lens. It's the 15 to 45 millimeter lens and it's got f 3.5 to 5.6. So for you guys out there who love the technical stuff, this is like got 24.2 megapixels. It takes great photos. I think the color is so nice and vibrant. It's got all those film simulations as well. But anyway, my first thoughts and impression on this is that I love the look. I think it's so stylish. It's really beautiful, nice, lightweight, as well it's great for vlogging like right off the bat this gives you really good photo quality and video quality for such an affordable price in comparison to the other camera so if you are looking for a new vlogging camera consider trying the Fuji X100 so I'm gonna go through some of the features we turn it on and the lens pops out like that it also has an electronic viewfinder so if you put your eye up to the screen like this turns off the LCD. Now what's really cool about this as well is that it's got touch screen autofocus. So here's what it looks like. If I turn the lens, it can zoom in and out like this. Ooh, zoom out. Ooh. So that's essentially it. And if you want to focus on your subject without having to manually focus, you can even just tap right there. I think what most vloggers are looking for when it comes to a camera like this is the fact that it's got an LCD screen that flips out and also moves up and down. So it's a three-way tilt mechanism and it's touch screen as well. So when you're vlogging, it's totally perfect to like hold the camera like this. It's really light, you don't have to worry about it. Or you can attach a tripod to it here in the bottom so you can be like, oh, living that vlogger life. <laughs> It's got super quick autofocus, guys, and really good facial recognition. If you see like me moving the camera, the little gray box seems to just follow me everywhere. So when you are vlogging, it's great because you know that it's always gonna stay focused on your face. Like my pet peeve when vlogging is if I'm out of focus and I know I don't have to worry about it with something like this as long as I put it on automatic. Also guys, for vloggers, this is great because unlike the other Fuji cameras that would only shoot five minutes at a time, for videos, this one can shoot 30 consecutive minutes for up to 60 frames per second. And if you're interested in 4K, it also has that, but only up to 15 frames per second. Also, if you're a solo traveler or vlogger and you don't have anyone to take your video or photo, this is really cool because you can actually hook this up via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to your phone and you can control the camera from there. So you just hook it up through the Wi-Fi thing over here. <laughs> And you can like set up your camera from afar and use your phone to like put it on timer mode and you can walk away and see yourself in the monitor of your camera. Like so much crazy. This has a microphone jack. So if you want to attach an external microphone, it has a little thing here that you can flip up and stick your external mic on and then you can put it here on the hot shoe. This is really cute too for photography because it's got a little pop-up flash. I think this is really fun. So rather than me just talking about the camera itself, I'd rather show you guys some of the photos that I took with it and maybe next time I can do a little vlog with this. So I try to talk you guys through some of the photos. Today I took a few quick ones just to see how the camera works. Some of them are on automatic with filters and others are shot manually. And I wanna thank my dad because he helped me shoot these photos and some of the rest are selfies and time shots. This is the very first image I took. It was actually set on manual, but I did edit it a little bit in post. I just 
tweak the levels and a bit of the vibrance and that's pretty much it I love the colors my goodness and this was just shot with available light like daylight coming to my house now I also shot in black and white this is directly from the filters that are available on the camera beautiful guys barely any editing just levels I promise now this is with the toy camera filter. I think it's so cool because it gives this vintage feel. It's got that little vignette. And of course I top it off with a teacup to really accentuate the vintage vibes. Okay, now I think this is such an interesting advanced filter. It's called cross screen and it creates a star pattern where lines can like radiate out of bright objects. So here it caught the brightness of my nails and gave it this little Kira Kira effect. Next is a food shot. It's just of some salsa that I made this afternoon and I just used available lighting. Next is this bougainvillea that's just outside of my house. Really vibrant pink colors. And this one is of a yellow triangle garden on a rainy day. Beautiful. It's just got a little pink filter on top to give it that moody feel. And lastly is a selfie. I think this camera takes amazing selfies so if you're into that, get it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my little mini review of the Fujifilm X-T100. So far I'm enjoying it a lot and I can't wait to bring it more with me for vlogging, especially for shooting a lot of my beauty videos. I can say that this is a good balance between taking really cute photos and videos as well. So if you're a vlogger who likes to also take photos for the IG feed, then this camera has really got you covered. It's like a no-nonsense kind of thing and it's really easy to pick up and learn. For someone like me who's always on the go, having something lightweight is super important and I just love that it's so stylish as well. So I just want to say thank you so much Fuji for sending me this camera, my goodness. I'm so overwhelmed and so honored to be a part of the Fuji film family. Wow. <laughs> but of course guys, this is totally my 100% true and honest opinion so i wouldn't be sharing this with you if i really didn't like it so i hope you guys can check this camera out of course you can do more research on it if you're into the more techie side but personally just as a vlogger i love the whole experience and it's really no nonsense at all also guys if you didn't know i actually just finished my 100 consecutively uploaded videos on my Instagram page. So I'm so excited to be shooting photos again. So I hope you guys can follow me still on my journey through rediscovering photos after 100 days and of course creating new videos. For more details, you can check it out in the description box down below. And if you have any other questions or suggestions for future videos, you can also leave it down in the doo doo. I got you fam. Anyway guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you can also look forward to more videos and photos using this Fuji camera. And of course guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time.